So in a previous video, we learned that we could take a limit to find the slope of a tangent line. So let's work out some examples. To review the slope of the tangent line at the point A comma F of A is given by the limit as X approaches A, F of X minus F of A all over X minus A. An alternate definition would say the limit as h goes to zero as f of, of the quotient f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. All we did here is replaced x minus a with h. So h would equal x minus a, and so x would equal uh, a plus h. So let's find an equation of the tangent line to the curve f of x equals 6 over x at the point 2 comma 3. So we're going to have to take the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x minus f of 2 all over x minus 2. So I'm going to have to focus and always remember to put limit as x approaches 2 as I work out all the algebraic steps. So this would be 6 over x minus 3 in the numerator, in the denominator, x minus 2. So I would like to simplify that algebraic fraction. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to multiply numerator and denominator by x. That will give me the limit as x approaches 2 of 6 minus 3x all over x parentheses x minus 2. I left the denominator in factored form, looking ahead, thinking that, oh, I am going to have uh, probably a, a common factor. So let me leave it in factored form. Again, looking at my factors in the denominator, I have x times parentheses x minus 2. I can see in the numerator, there's a common factor of 3. But I'd like to have a, a factor of x minus 2. I'd like to have a positive coefficient on x. So in the numerator, I am going to factor out a negative 3. So I'll have the limit as x approaches 2 of negative 3 parentheses x minus 2 all over x parentheses x minus 2. And now the x minus 2 is a common factor, so I will simplify to the limit as x approaches 2 negative 3 over x. And now I can just replace x with 2. I can use direct substitution to get 
negative three halves. Now I haven't answered the question yet because it asks us for the equation of a tangent line. Actually it says an equation because we know we can write the equation of a line in many forms. So let's just go ahead and use the um, point slope form. So we're going to use the y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. And so we have here our x1 and y1 are given from the 2 comma 3. So I would have y comma 3 equals negative 3 halves parentheses x minus 2. So let's look at another example. Find an equation of the tangent line to g of x equals radical x plus 1 at 3 comma 2. So we're going to use the limit as x approaches 3 of g of x minus g of 3 all over x minus 3. So g of x is radical x plus 1. g of 3 is 2 all over x minus 3. So here I see that I have a, a radical expression in the numerator with two terms. And that makes me think, well, how can I clear out the radical when I have two terms? And the answer is to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. The conjugate will be radical x plus 1 plus 2. And so we get the limit as x approaches 3, x plus 1 minus 4 in the numerator, then the denominator, I'm going to leave this factored form. So I'll have one factor being x minus 3 and the other factor being the conjugate radical x plus 1 plus 2. And you can see why I left it in factored form because as soon as I collect like terms in the numerator I'll have a common factor. So this would be the limit as x approaches 3 in the numerator, I will have x minus 3. In the denominator, I have a factor of x minus 3 times radical x plus 1 plus 2. So now after simplifying, I can divide out the common factor. I have the limit as x approaches 3 of 1 over radical x plus 1 plus 2. And I can use direct substitution and I'll get 1 over 4 as the slope of my tangent line. 
So I'm not done because it doesn't ask for just the slope, it asks for an equation. So again, we'll use the point slope form. And we'll use 3 comma 2 as x1 and y1. So my equation will be y minus 3 equals 1 fourth parentheses x minus 3. And oops, made a mistake. Let's correct that. y1 is 2. So y minus 2 equals 1 fourth parentheses x minus 3. One last example. Find an equation of the line tangent to q of x equals 1 over radical x at the point 4 comma 1 half. So I'll need to take the limit as x approaches 4 of q of x minus q of 4 all over x minus 4. So that would be the limit as x approaches 4 of 1 over radical x minus 1 half all over x minus 4. Now we have to do some algebra and we have some uh, choices as to the order in which we do the algebra. Uh, one thing that I might want to do now is multiply by the conjugate on the top and the bottom. Another thing that I might ha want to do now is clear the fractions and then I'll have to multiply by the conjugate. If I multiply by the conjugate first, I will have to later clear the fractions. If I clear the fraction first, I will later have to multiply by the conjugate. So as long as you do the algebra correct, the order of performing those two steps should lead to the same result. So I am going to clear the fractions first. which means I should multiply numerator and denominator by two radical x. That will give me the limit as x approaches four of, in the numerator, two, minus radical x and in the denominator 2 radical x parentheses x minus 4. So now I still have to go through and multiply by um, the conjugate. So, use a different color. 2 plus radical x over 2 plus radical x. So I will get the limit as x approaches 4 of 4 minus x in the denominator. And then in the numerator, I'm going to have 2 radical x parentheses x minus 4 
parentheses 2 plus radical x. Now I can recognize that 4 minus x is the algebraic opposite of x minus 4. So I will factor out a negative 1 from the numerator. I'll have the limit as x approaches 4 of negative 1 parentheses x minus 4 over 2 radical x parentheses x minus 4 parentheses 2 plus radical x. So now I see I have a common factor. I can divide out the common factor and I'll have the limit as x approaches 4 of negative 1 over 2 radical x parentheses 2 plus radical x. And I can use direct substitution to evaluate that limit. So I will get negative 1, 2 over 2 times 2 times 4. So 4 times 4 will give me 16. So negative 1 over 16. I haven't finished the answering the question yet. Uh, I need to find an equation, so I'll use my point slope form. And so I'll have y minus one half equals negative one sixteenth parentheses x minus four. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing these examples and I hope you find them useful. They will certainly appear on a quiz or on a test near you.